An example of a question that I hate. What's your favorite kind of movie? Because I don't have an answer for that, because I love too many movies. But when somebody asks me, what's your favorite book? I get to say, Geek Love by Katherine Dunn. I've mentioned Geek Love in videos before, but I just want to let those of you who don't know, I don't mean geek like nerd, I mean geek like person at a carnival who bites the heads off chickens. So the story is about this guy named Al and his wife Crystal Lil, and they have this traveling carnival, but then when business starts to fail, Al has the brilliant idea to start a freak show. But not only start one, breed their own. Lily agrees by saying, what greater gift could we give our children than the inherent ability to make money just by being themselves? So each time she gets pregnant, she takes copious amounts of amphetamines, arsenic, radioisotopes to help her unborn children along. The parents hope that each pregnancy would yield fantastic mutations, and they do. Kinda. There's Ollie, the albino midget hunchback who narrates the story. Her mutation isn't as fantastic as her siblings, which kinda gives her this weird double isolation between her freakish family and normal. There's Arturo the aqua boy who instead of arms and legs has flippers and is maniacal enough that he starts his own cult. Ify and Ellie are joined Siamese twins. And then there's the youngest, Chick, who at first doesn't seem like he has a mutation and Al and Lil kinda think that they failed his parents because every other kid in the family has something to contribute to the traveling carnival but he doesn't. They come very close to leaving Chick on someone's doorstep, but then they find out Chick can move things with his mind. Telekinetic infant. Yeah. The book takes place in two main time periods. The first, the children's struggle with the carnival and everything going on in their family when they're younger. And the second deals with Ollie's 19 year old daughter, Miranda, who doesn't know that Ollie's her mother, who was raised by nuns and who sort of has a little tail. It's jarring and real and dark and grotesque and engrossing and just says all sorts of things about the human condition and how to deal with the cards that were dealt. This is the prime dysfunctional family, but they're all trying to do stuff to help the family, except for Arturo, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. The story has such a creative writing style and such deep metaphors. It's not the easiest book to read, but you're going to find it very hard to put down. I've read quite a few stories with a magical realism aspect, but this book just feels so real. And as it says on the back, family values will never be the same. Oh, Catherine Dunn, you are fantastic. Tell me your favorite book and why in the comment section below, and I will see you tomorrow.